Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. So this time I have a brand new projector to review. Now this is the Mossy Go by Elite Projector. Now this is the same company that makes Elite screens, those popular projector high quality screens. So if you like the outdoors or want to enjoy a movie in your backyard or maybe while camping, then this projector is for you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Joster and let's do this. So this is an outdoor ultra short throw LED projector designed to be portable and also function as a Bluetooth speaker and a power bank. Yes, so this has a built-in 37,200 milliamp battery, enough for three hours of movie watch or 30 hours of music. How it sounds. It's not bad though. It can get pretty loud. So that you want to use this in a party, there you have it. You go camping, you want a Bluetooth speaker and a projector, there you go. Yeah. All right, enough of Metallica. So everything comes in the back ready to go. Inside the projector is well secured. There is also the remote, the power bank, a USB type C cable, an HDMI cable, instructions, and a tripod. Now on one side of the projector, you'll find a 3.5 millimeter port, two HDMI ports, one USB type C power out to charge your phone or other devices, the power button, and the DC and trigger out port, just in case if you have a motorized screen. On the other side, there's a USB type C port and two additional USB type A ports. Now in the front, there are two buttons to select if you want to use the projector or just the Bluetooth speaker. Now on the top, is the projector and focus wheel and also the menu buttons. Now at the bottom there is a one and a quarter inch threaded port for tripod mount. Now the projector also has an IPX2 drip rating so it is resistant to water splash or some rain. Now this kit also includes the screen with a carrying case and a frame so let me show you how easy it is to assemble it. Well guys, this thing is so well done. Let me show you how you assemble this. So, look at this. It's so weird, right? At first I was like, holy macro. So, everything just clips. And it opens up. So, we are building the frame of the screen. And that's it. It's done, super lightweight. Now all we need to assemble the legs that go here. So let's go outside. So here you notice there is a hole for the lock. Assemble this in there. Now we grab the lock and secure it. And that is the frame finished. Man, this probably takes you like about five minutes. It's super simple, super easy to assemble it. All right, guys, so the screen has these secure buttons, which pretty much all you have to do is just hold it and press it. And that's it. Oh my God, this is like the easiest thing ever. Let me use both of my hands because I need some strength in here. All right, I just finished putting it together. Super easy task. I mean, there's, you do need to stretch the uh, screen a little bit. You notice how there is some little, little marks right here from because the screen was bent, uh, folded a little bit earlier. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for right now. But my God, you have a 55 inch portable screen uh, projector. You wanna go camping, you wanna go outside in the pool, in this case, I'm outside in the pool and I have this beautiful, nice portable projector. So let me bring out the projector and let's see how it performs. Let's do this. So here it is, guys. I finally have the projector set up and look how easy and simple this is. If you wanna go camping, if you wanna set something up outside your home while enjoying this beautiful summer times, easy setup. The screen is not that big. This is a 55 inch screen, 
But of course, it is easy to carry on. It is easy to set it up. And that is the whole point, right? So in this place, in this case, I'm in the uh, backyard. This is my friend's home. And he's letting me use his home as a setup. There's a swimming pool and everything. Summertime here in San Diego is beautiful. And right now, I get to enjoy it. The screen provided is a cine white projection material which can get very bright at night but picture degrades quickly during daytime. So I would prefer to have a cine gray for better contrast and black levels. But at the same time, you will be busy during daytime when you're camping and maybe enjoying a movie at night. All right guys, so let me show you some of the settings from this projector. You also have access to contrast, sharpness, pattern test. We move on over here to H position, height position, uh, horizontal position or vertical position if you need to make some adjustments. So for example, let's go here into horizontal position and I can move this a little bit to the left. I notice there I can have some space or you can always adjust it manually as well. Let's go back over here and then over here. Let's go to RGB. Over here we have access to gamma, color temperature, uh, color effect. I have this one in movie. We can go in here, we can adjust the gamma, color temperature, color effect. Like I said, we have this in movie, but we can switch. This is photo, vivid, user, standard and game so I'm assuming this has game mode but I don't know I wouldn't bring my whole Xbox outside when you go camping so I'm just gonna leave it up for movie right now and then over here color format is RGB and we can adjust the hue and the saturation so let's go back over here on top and then we have advanced so it's spec ratio spec is full right now and or orientation you can have in the front table or in the rear you can change that if you want to ultra vivid huh I didn't see that one before let's see how this one works low medium high or off oh I rather have it off I feel like uh, it oversaturates everything so I like it like this let's go back over here and then trouble trigger. So let's say that you have a, a power screen, then you can connect it to a 12 volt trigger from the projector. So that way, when you turn on the projector, the, the screen will roll up or down depending on what type of screen you have. Also, we also have keystone adjustment. I have it on. And then language, we can change that. Transparency, uh, SPM, sport, buzzer, and reset. The menu settings are very simple, easy to use. Right here, the resolution is 1080, 1080p, 1920 by 1080p at 60 Hz. All right, guys, so I also wanted to test it with my ALR screen, which is designed for ultra short throw projectors, and I thought it looked great. When you have a cine gray or an ALR screen, it adds better black levels, and the picture looks so much better, even under ambient light. Now it does require to sit around 16 inches away from the wall to produce a 100 inch screen size, but I think it looks fantastic. So that's it for this video. If you're interested in buying this kit, I will leave a link in the description. It retails for around $1,300. I know it's a little pricey, but you are paying for the practicality of having a portable projector, Bluetooth speaker, and a battery bank, and a screen on the go. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jolster out.
Oh hey guys, Joster here, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content, if you'd like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe, and also you, you can become a member, just hit that join button, you get access to some of the emojis that I created, and also you get early access to some of my videos, in the aftermath of the live stream that I do, but mostly just want to support this channel, hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Joel's around.